Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how we can speak to our problems and what we do wrong when we do speak to them. Hey guys, my name is Julie and this is my brand new YouTube channel. I am so glad to have you here and I am looking forward to talk about my faith and my relationship with God and I really hope I can inspire you with my videos. If you want to keep up and follow my journey, please subscribe and enjoy! In Mark 11:23, Jesus says, I tell you the truth. You say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. So he's telling us that we have to speak directly to our mountain. But too many times we forget that and we would just talk about our mountain instead of talking directly to it. That is actually what we are supposed to do. How do you actually talk directly to a problem? Well, you could try with please I don't like you, just go away, I don't need you, I don't want you, that won't work. The way how we are supposed to talk to them is actually quite simple but yet we, for, we forget how to do it. Because for every problem and for every lie there is a solution and the truth to it in the Bible. So if you find yourself in a challenging situation, just open your Bible, look for the, your solution and your truth and just tell your problem that it's not even a problem because you know the truth and you have the solution already. It's just like in Luke 4 when Satan tried to deceive Jesus in the desert. Jesus answered with the truth from the Bible every single time. He quoted Bible verses and refuted the lies of the devil. And that's exactly what we have to do. And sometimes we even have an amazing start with quoting Bible verses as soon as a problem comes up. Most of the time, if we don't see results immediately, we just stop and get frustrated and we would believe our emotions instead. The key to it is consistency. Being consistent and never giving up will bring you the results that you need. And it is so necessary to overcome our problems in tough situations. You need to know what you believe in and stick to it until the very end. You can check out this little chart that I prepared if you're facing difficult situations right now in your life and maybe you're struggling believing lies that are not true. I put the truth to it right next to it. So you can look it up, write the verse down, read it every single day and just don't believe the lies that the devil is trying to tell you. For example, if you are struggling with self-worth and you think that you are not worthy, you can read Ephesians 2.10, Song of Songs 4.7, Psalms 27.10, Psalms 139 verses 13 to 14, Luke 12, 6 to 7, John 3 verse 16. If you think you are weak and you don't have any talents, read Philippians 4, 13, Isaiah 41, 10, Psalms 73, 26. If you think that God doesn't love you, Read Joshua 1 5, Isaiah 43, well, Romans 5 5, Ephesians 2 verses 19 to 22. Or if you think you did so many wrong things and God just cannot forgive you, 
read first John to Isaiah 43 verse 25 Isaiah 44 verse 22 Acts 3 19 Romans 10 verses 10 to 11 Romans 4 24 to 25 I hope that can help you um, to find the truth to find your truth and the truth this truth is the only truth that you should believe in and everything else is a lie don't believe it write the verses down read them every single day and just pray to God talk to him I also have a short and simple prayer you can write it down you can pray it you can also just pray it with me right now it's just a little help for you Holy Spirit Please help me to overcome my problems and speak the truth from the Bible to them. Please fill me with your peace and courage so I don't start doubting your word and let my emotions leave me. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!